I'm going to be speaking about the National Popular in Italy. After some of Gramsci's prison writings were published and shared, the National Popular was treated as a cultural concept and was associated with progressive forms of art like literature and cinema, which the Italian Communist Party began to back in the 1940s and where Gramsci had earlier been a leader of this group. As mentioned in the main point slide, we learned that this concept was created in response to fascism. Gramsci believed in creating the class alliance between the proletariat, the peasant, and the bourgeoisie. He believed the only way this would work was if the proletariat secured hegemony over the other classes by making them conscious of their shared interests and collective will. This proved very difficult, as there was a separation between the intellectuals and the people in Italy. And in Gramsci's writings of the National Popular, he discusses that the Italian newspaper did not have a wide readership and had been adding fiction to their stories since the 19th century. It was because people and writers did not have the same conception of the world. Gramsci had this idea that the feelings of people are not lived by the writers as their own, and the writers did not set themselves up for understanding and writing about popular feelings. The separation between people in Italy was considered traditional, as it went a long way back into Italian history and it became a reoccurring theme among democratic individuals who saw that the Renaissance was producing a gap between knowledge and popular life and a gap between the people and culture. The Renaissance in Italy actually led to the triumph of Catholic intellectual hierarchy and the failure to develop a common national language, but instead two languages, which were Latin and Tuscan, that dominated over the less prestigious languages. The Italian nation felt as though it existed only for the ruling elites, but not for the masses. And Gramsci mentions that the elites are tied to caste traditions that have never been broken by a strong popular movement from below them, which was the central aim of the national popular movement in Italy.